pick up a bill within the next few days. It's a must-pass defense authorization bill. And we were able to include language in it that requires the Pentagon essentially to back off. Uh, any soldier that received a bonus or incentive in good faith uh, can rest assured this holiday season the Pentagon is not going to be coming after them. Uh, there is an exception if a service member was aware of the fraud. They're not protected. But for the vast majority of service members who understood uh, that they were getting these offers in good faith and had no reason to believe otherwise, they'll be protected. So very pleased that we could get this moving so quickly. What a relief for all those soldiers as you during the holidays. Um, well, so the House will vote Friday, the Senate sometime next week. What kind of outcome are you expecting? Uh, you know, there, it's a big defense bill, so this is a very small piece of it. There are some controversial issues that we're still working through in the bill. Uh, so the outcome is not predetermined. Uh, I have a concern about one of the other major portions of the bill. Uh, but hopefully uh, we can get uh, this work product to the president's desk uh, in, a, in a fashion that he can sign it and where most members can support it. Uh, and that will, I think, be a very quick remedy in terms of these California Guard soldiers who did their duty. They went off and fought in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, and we have an obligation to make sure that the bargain that was made with them is upheld on the Pentagon's end. Well, does this deal apply beyond California troops to any member of the armed forces? Um, the bill uh, really addresses the problem here in California where we had uh, someone who was working at the Guard uh, who was fraudulently offering bonuses and incentives uh, that many soldiers were not authorized to receive. Now, those soldiers took the bonuses not knowing they weren't authorized uh, for the most part. Um, but this was a problem that was predominantly in California. There may be a few isolated cases in some other states, but really the vast majority of the problem was here in the Golden State. All right. How about the soldiers who've already repaid the government? Do they get reimbursement? Are they eligible for reimbursement? They are. One of the provisions of the bill says that if they already paid back these debts, that they in turn will be repaid and with interest. Uh, it also obligates the Pentagon to address any credit issues that they may have incurred as a result. Uh, so they need to reach out, they, the Pentagon, need to reach out and try to help sort out any credit rating problems that have occurred because of the mistakes made by the Pentagon, uh, not by those soldiers. It certainly takes a lot of stress off those. Talk about today as vote. The House Democrats re-elected Nancy Pelosi as their party leader. There was some disappointment after the disappointing election results. So what's your reaction to today's vote? Uh, well, it was a very strong uh, vote for Leader Pelosi. Uh, she won as she predicted she would with about two-thirds of the caucus supporting her. Uh, and I think the members concluded, uh, as indeed uh, I was advocating, uh, that we need the, the smartest, hardest working, uh, most experienced tactician uh, in dealing with this incoming administration. Uh, and I, I don't think there's anybody more capable in our caucus than Nancy Pelosi. Uh, when you're in a tough negotiation, uh, you want your best hand uh, representing the caucus, and I think we determined today on a pretty overwhelming basis well, that leader is Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, and leading since 2002. Our Congressman Adam Schiff, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And it sounded like you're uh, due to go up and vote, so good luck to you and have a great weekend.